So this question is mostly for my friends in the United States. Here's the question. If you had the opportunity to leave the country in search of sunnier shores, would you do it? We're down here in Panama right now, Panama, right outside Panama City, Panama. I'll show them a little bit of the, the beach. It's really beautiful, pretty, pretty nice night. It's uh, about five o'clock in the evening and uh, tide's just uh, just rolling out there. It's just pretty, pretty amazing. So the question is, is that do we have the best life in America as we've been sold our entire lives? And some people watching this would say, yes, you know, America is the greatest country in the world. There's no question about it. And before you, before anyone starts bashing me about not loving America, I love America. I've used the system. I've employed hundreds of people. I've tried to give back to the system as much as I, as, as I can, but I've certainly gotten a lot out of it. So I love the country. I do not like where the country is going. Um, I think we're in a lot of trouble. Won't go into that because we all have heard, we all hear enough about that every single day. But the question is, are we, are we, is this where we're being treated best in our own country or are there places like Panama and other, the world is a very, very big place, as you know. And while America excels, no question, in things like innovation and technology, um, and I think entrepreneurship, without a question, a lot of other countries excel in other things, like family life, like treating life and living as important or more important than working. We tend to be success obsessed in America. And again, I've enjoyed it, I've loved it, but I'm getting to the point where it's just, uh, where I'm questioning whether that's the only thing in life or that's the most important thing in life or that's, that's where we are focused. And all you have to do to prove that with evidence is to see where America puts its money. We put our money into Success. We cut taxes for the rich. You know, I've obviously, you know, I've benefited from that as well. So I can't say too much about it. But, but we we don't take care of elderly people. We don't take care of our vets. So there's a lot of things we do very, very poorly. Although in our schools we tell the kids. I remember them telling us too. We are the shining city on the hill, and we are the greatest things in sliced bread. Well, in a lot of ways we're not. That's the bottom line. That's not my opinion. That's just a fact. It's still a great country. There's no question about it. But maybe splitting your time you know, in different countries, or maybe traveling to other countries and just seeing what the rest of the world is like. Because I'll tell you, if you have not traveled around the world at least one time, you haven't seen really what the world really has to offer. And there's a lot more to it than just the rich, gated community called America, the United States. There's a lot more to the world than that. And I don't think you can read it in a book or see it on a video. I think you've got to go go visit these places. Come to places like Panama, go to places like Europe and Australia and Scandinavia and you know, all over the place and see what's available. See how they treat the elderly, see how they treat their veterans, see how they do see how they run their health care programs. Um, that's a whole nother thing. So it's just, just a question. If you had the opportunity, if you could do it, would you split your time in another country or would you just leave the United States for sunnier shores? I'd like to hear your comments on this. It's just a it's not, it's not really, a, I'm not making any kind of a statement. I just kind of want to know what you think about it because it's something I'm considering. Thanks for watching.